Hey, what's up guys? Well, let's go back here and today we are going to be playing some plague or not plague some rainbow death knight um Honestly, I found this list online and it looked pretty cool I wasn't sure about what the zilliax was and what the etc ban was as it did not give it to me which is kind of weird um I wanted to try the headless horseman since I first saw him. He looks like a pretty solid card uh, we get to play climatic necrotic explosion i also think this card is pretty dope and there's an achievement uh based around this card to do it with all the values at seven i believe um what else is there in this deck you get mon pa which is a pretty dope card i really like it you get to play all the excavate cards which um the legendary for this does it show it for me oh it's at the top it resurrects your highest cost minion. Uh, gives it plus two, plus two, and reborn or whatever. What's that? Life steal, reborn life steal. So, in the deck, in the sideboard, we have Reska, as well to Rez and Jack. If not, we have Zilliax as our highest cost card. And yeah, it looks it looks pretty fun. I'll be honest. So, with all that being said, how about we queue up our first game? And let's see how it goes. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll see you guys all there. All right, first matchup: Helia, Reno, Mapa. I really like this hand, actually, because it might be aggro. So having the Reno is pretty dope. Helia is just one of those cards that I feel like is kind of insane. Mon Pocket gave me a lot of health if it is aggro. So. Yeah. Alright. Um. I want to mull this, but I also want to keep it. But it's only really useful when you have a lot of corpses. Fuck it, yellow. We draw on turn one, so it could be fine. That's pretty good. More card draw is always nice. So I'm probably not playing this in the early game, especially not if I can see it's an aggro deck. Then it's... Doing this early game kind of seems troll. Could be Pirate Rogue. It could be Hook Tusk Rogue. Could be a whole bunch of things. Uh, I don't even know what this card actually does. Rush, after you cast this Frost Spell, gain Reborn. Oh. It's a really cool effect. Also, this art is adorable. Super cute. Just slam this here. Empty board. If he kills it, he kills it. If not, I can give it Reborn the turn after. Oh, it's actually probably weaker for this into this, but... Uh, now if he is... Reno... I shut him down, which is pretty nice. I have no idea what the fuck I'm playing against. Oh. Oh. This is fun. I love losing the game to this deck. It's my favorite thing on the planet. Zephyrus is the only way I win here, right? If I top deck Zephyrus, I can win. If I don't, I'm dead. Every single time. Well, I guess this is my odds. Oh, none of these are the cards I wanted. Maybe he hits Frost Plague here and it fucks up his mana, but I doubt it. I'm just dead. I died to one piece of card draw. Seems about right. Seems about right with the current state of wild, I'll be honest. It's 
Zaxxis, isn't it? It's 1632, 35. Yeah, that, that, that seems about right for the current state of wild. All right, let's skip the next one. All right. Arms, my brave company. Oh, no deck that has high odds of just being an aggro deck. Um, yeah, it's more like this. Oh, we hit these two again, which is pretty nice. Another bullshit combo deck that I could actually never beat. Oh my god. I feel like you... The state of wild is you're playing super aggro. Where you can't realistically do anything. Or you're playing super heavy control. Or like, su sorry, super heavy combo. Where you either killing the turn 5 or most likely lose the game. And I just want there to be a variety of decks in the format. Because there's really not. And it's kind of tilting. All right, well, if I draw the other card, I could at least cut him off Reno, even though he's most likely big. I think this card is only played in big shaman. So maybe I survive long enough to slam this. Probably don't. Well, that's actually really good for me. I need different cards in my hand. I don't normally like just jamming out Finley, but I need relevant cards. This is actually not bad. This is pretty solid. This, this card is just a meme to me. I don't get it. Um, it's actually a really good draw here. Okay. We're somewhat in the game solely because he didn't have another play this turn and he cucked himself. The he has one big dude in hand. Pretty solid for me, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm going to save Headless Horseman. I'm going to save Zephyrus. I'm going to continue farming corpses. The part I don't understand about this card, and why it's kind of bad, is that after it gets reborn, it no longer has rush. Because it's a battle cry that gives it rush. Yeah, that pops the glug. What's this? I can't reload. I forgot what this guy's hero power does. So, deal three damage. Or crushing brawn, my arm shall be yours if my head is drawn. Okay, how the hell do I want to deal with this? Zephyrus? Zephyrus should give me hex, right? I can guarantee it like this. To get me Hex or Polly. I don't think that deck has any undeads for all types, but this, yeah, this is transform on undead. I Means technically, if he does have an undead in his deck, 
Uh, this is a beast. Neptu is an elemental. The other guy's an elemental. So I don't think there are. That's not ideal. Don't remember what one of them is this. Can I check it here? Deal three damage to an enemy, one damage to all other enemies. Howling Blast is not bad. Death Strikes allows me to off that. Don't want to burn Reno yet. Okay, I guess I should have your hard face. Does the other thing have two health as well? Uh, that's pretty good. I'm in a really, really good position. That deck has no more battle cries, right? Yeah. Okay. We've done that now. At least since I shuffled something in my deck, I could draw Mon Pa again, which would be pretty nice. I'm gonna play uh, this as well. I want to draw the head. Oh, thank God. We actually got there. Holy fuck. That was a pretty close game, but that was also really fun. I really enjoyed this deck. Huh. Who would have thought? Anyways, uh, we have time for more games, so let's queue up the next one. Alright. Yo, Ma and Pa loves being in my opener, fuck. This gives me some... Early game stuff, so... I'll try it. Oh, that shit, you can just slam this as it gains you the corpses at the end of turn. I always forget about that fact. At the end of your turn, deal damage, you can just change the attack and destroy the colonies. That's pretty good. Sorry about that. I'm scracking me open a beverage. It's pretty good. It's, I'm, I'm having a pretty solid beer. One of the beers from the restaurant I work at. Um, let's do this. Not quest. It could actually be a Reno lock or like control. In which case, this is pretty solid. If it's wheel of death, I mean, probably fucked in that case. There's a couple other things it could be, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh. Alright. Do this. I'd rather do this. I was hoping to hit a vampiric, right? So I'll be honest. Uh, because I'm not sure what it is, it's either blood blue or obliterate. I think the answer here is obliterate. Pretty sure the answer is obliterate. Could be wrong. Oh, it could be cube lock. Or something of the sort. Oh, they buffed this guy to a 2 8? Could have sworn Mon Pa what used to be a 1 8. Or a 1 6 even. Am I tripping? Was it always 2 8? The more you know. You have earned an eternity. 
That's a really good draw. Um. So. That's actually a huge draw for him, or for me, for him to get. Because if he is Q block, to be fair, I wasn't playing table flip in my list, but I've seen some control lists around that. That's fine. Uh, I guess not. I lose that. Gonna obliterate that, kill that. That's fine. Obliterate, kill that. Um, because I still like, don't know if it's Reno or not. It would be really nice instead of having to use this. I drew the other one. Um, the down with the ship or whatever the hell the card's called. Yeah, down with the ship. So it's like an off this. I was about to emote to see if I was disconnected because if you emote and you're disconnected, I'm pretty sure they don't work. I remember testing that out at one point and it did not work. But hey. Why my opponents actually just say FK? No, it's not worth it. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I guess it's just the obliterate. Discover a frost spell play. That's huge, actually. And our excavate is actually really good. Alright. Man, I'm tired. Oh! I guess that's another thing I could talk about. And headless first spin that. Um, today for the first time in a long time, I actually played a different modern deck. I went to go play modern tonight. As I've said, I I go play modern often on um. Oops, this was fine. I, I go play modern often on uh, Fridays. I go to the, like the modern F and M that uh, my LGS has, and uh, we. I was playing uh, Yog today, and honestly, Yog was really fun. Why not copy this? I was about to say that did not seem correct. Alright, well that is something. This is not bad. I mostly took this as I wanted to be able to do like this, bounce it back. I also do this on this. Really, two of my plagues are the bottom two cards of your deck? That is such an insane fracking for him to hit. Like, actually, I think best possible fracking. There. Beautiful. Now, unless he draws a second copy of the location, he can't really attack this turn, which means that my guy gets even more damage down. Pretty good. And then next turn, I can excavate twice for zero. Or the card cost zero. Yeah, okay, it is what I thought. That's fine. Uh, I'm actually not excavating twice this turn. So I want to shoot this here. Should have done that in the inverse order. Whoops.
Okay. Yeah, if I would have done that in a better order, oh, so good for him. I need to draw that first. All right. I mean, this isn't ideal, but Are you serious? At least getting way too much life. I could actually never kill him now. It's irritating. Play, I guess. Maybe I should have actually done this with more cards. I had a chance of drawing something relevant. I wasted the obliterate, could have drawn another card. I guess I'll just take this here. I don't think any more life. Play it. If he has double end of turn, he wins the game. If he gets the deal six damage to the board, he wins the game. I think those are his only two big outs. Forgot that guy had three health. He hit both. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Oh. Yeah. Sadly didn't draw the head. Oh, uh, the game was... The game was not even close, really, to be fair. He was really lucky he had to do very little drawing to hit all the shit he needed to just perpetually wipe the board uh, after he cast the wheel, but... Okay. Whatever. We have time for one last game, so let's queue it up. Alright. Another warlock. It's not the same dude, is it? I don't think so. No. Both of those are playable. This should hopefully be fine. I kind of doubt it, but I can hope. This is not fine. We've lost this game. Mine size can be cute. Do it so I don't have to quin this out. So you potentially could quin this out on eight to try and win the game. This would be so much better if I wasn't going uh first. If I was going first. If I was going first, he had like no answer to entire his deck to this. So he'd probably get one or two triggers off to gain the life. And that's kind of absurd. I might even be able to coin Alex out on seven, which would be insane if, if the pint size summoner uh, stays alive. Yeah. 
He's had a pretty solid draw. Maybe I could also do the coin Reno on seven. Potentially that works out in my favor. Um, there's a couple potential plays I have. That's not ideal. You had fucking everything. There is no winning anymore. I lost the game. Straight up, I actually just lost the game off that. Off the fact he had both of those. Oh, it is what it is. Based off the fact he had his one of broomstick in his hand there, it's the only reason I lost the game. If he couldn't kill Monpa, I definitely had it for another turn or two. In which case, I mean, he had what? He had drawn 11 cards. Still pretty fucking lucky. Yep, that's the best card he could have hit. Uh, what I want to give to be that lucky for one game. What I'm gonna give to be that lucky for one game. I have to fucking wait, like throw away my fucking Reno here because my opponent just hit like a fucking god. Yeah. Yeah. So there's plenty of health to be able to complete quest. Hmm. At least it looks like it's the creature based version instead of the. Oh, really? My opponent's draw is fucking insane. If it is the minion version, I understand he just taps every single turn at a certain point. That still gives me seven, seven turns before I start taking fatigue. So. There is some amount of chance I can actually come back here. It's pretty great. Use something like this still in the game. So I'm playing this here, hero powering, poking dire, and just means this improves by five. It's not bad. I might be able to catch him off guard also with this, which just deals eight damage to his dome. Hopefully that is the case, but I also don't have the highest hopes. That's good. He probably should have just tapped first, but that's still pretty good for me. I need to get something else that uses corpse. Uh, oh. I've lost the game now. Really had to have both of them. He's drawn like all of his relevant pairs in the top fucking 18 cards of his deck it's not bad but it also doesn't do much is the problem what are the last spells i have in my deck frozen over i don't want to play I need to draw hell yeah, that's what I need to do. I really need to draw hell yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. So if I draw hell yeah, I get to shuffle three plagues into his deck. 
northern navigation has pretty high likelihood of hitting down with the ship which is he's taking 10 a turn minimum i'm gaining two he can't tap well no that's not true he played quest roll which means i don't want to hit hell yeah i'm an idiot I forgot that's how that card worked. Oh. I actually do want to draw Frozen over. Wait a second, that changes everything. Legitimately, for it changes everything. Hold up, I just need to make sure to survive here. We have frost spell. None of these are frost spells. Are you serious? Freeze the giant. Four. So I'm stuck with three left. I can't play anything else. Where the excavate treasures? Nothing relevant. Yes, we get seconds. Okay, so. Hear me out. I need to take a little bit of fatigue damage. For, I need himself to take a little bit of fatigue from himself without killing me. Because then I can win the game. Okay, I don't think I can win the game anymore. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, fuck it. I'm gonna just do it because it looks cool. Don't think it kills him unless it works the way I want it to work, in which case, then it does kill him. But I doubt it, so... If this works the way I want it to work... He draws all five flakes twice, even then it's not good enough. It does work the way I want it to. Sucks that it's two damage off lethal. I'm actually two damage off lethal. That is so depressing. At least it's good to know that's how that works, because that is a really cool interaction. But fuck. That was all... If he had drawn one more card, I had it. Legitimately one more card. I feel like the man at the tap, I had him. Or play like a library or something. Fuck, that's annoying. So annoying. Oh well.
But it is. It is what it is. Uh, it's fine. At least you can open a pack. I've opened two packs today and they were not good, so... Hopefully they're better here. Oh, man. I really wish that game... I won that game. If I would have won that game in that way, it would have been sick. Again. Oh, an epic. You know what? You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with that. Anyways. I'm a little tilted. I won't lie. But it is what it is. I'll make it through. Um, This deck was really dope, though. Uh, I really like the playstyle of Rainbow DK. Uh, I can't, I, I, I fuck with it heavy. Um, with that being said, sucks that we never got to draw the head because I'm not, I don't exactly remember what the hero power is. Does it just change this? Discover an undead to serve your pawn. If that's what it is, I mean, it's okay. Deal three is it deal three still? I don't I don't think it was. Okay, it still deals three. That's not bad, but it's also not the greatest. I like the fact that it's like an infinite value thing. So if you go headless horseman and instantly draw the head, like then you're in like a really good spot. But if not, card does feel a little weak. It feels like a six mana kill your opponent's biggest thing, and that's it. Um anyways, I don't have anything else to say. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys did, definitely leave a like and subscribe. As always, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.